Elliot uh, was born at 36 weeks. Uh, we had a scan done um, at Junior Lock Hospital and when they did the scan they picked up a heart defect and they said to us that Elliot was showing some characteristics of having Down syndrome. Seemed to be doing quite well until 13 days old she just uh, developed pneumothorax, crashed and went into cardiac arrest where she was resuscitated for 45 minutes and that's how she received her brain injury and then eventually was diagnosed with severe dyskinetic cerebral palsy. Uh, Anita was born with cerebral palsy, not diagnosed until she was three and then started here with ability from then on. Well, when we first came home we were just completely lost. We didn't know what was what was needed to be done. She'd just be upset all the time. We, we couldn't really figure out exactly why. And it wasn't until we started working with the Ability Centre and we had two lovely ladies, a physio and OT, who would come work together with Evelyn. We've got a family uh, with, three, with three kids um, and it's hard to coordinate a lot of things. Um, the Ability Centre definitely helps in accommodating our lifestyle. People that do come over, um, they come into our home. Um, They're our so, family now, yeah. yeah. They all get Christmas cards and presents. <laughs> they started her on an infant therapy group and she would come um, eventually, I think at about four, she would come daily and be picked up and brought in um, for a day therapy group. Probably have like 12 to 15 appointments a month, so it's pretty full on. Oh, at the start it's, it's quite overwhelming when you need to get support and to have an organisation like the Ability Centre uh, that you can reach out to and mm. they were very helpful. In. From knowing nothing about yeah. therapies, I didn't know about OT or anything, I didn't know what a professional yeah. therapist even did. So. Took us under their wing yeah. and helped us and uh, in a time where we needed it. The people who work here are, are very um, um, compassionate and, and caring and very understanding about everything and very supportive. We would be very lost without the Ability Centre if we didn't have their support um, in, in all different ways, not just physically but mentally and in information-wise as well. Well, it helps support the Ability Centre so that they can uh, support members of the community uh, like us, really. Um, we all uh, need support. Sometimes it's hard to ask for it, um, but when there's somebody there that can offer a lot of services, it's very helpful um, and it makes your life a lot easier uh, to raise a family. N nobody's really in the same position as you are, but the people here that know all about cerebral palsy, they really understand. The building is very special. She just couldn't believe that she was going to live in a place like this, with every bedroom overlooking a beautiful park and natural bushland. I like to say how happy I am in this house. The dream came true.